Hey, what's up, YouTube land? It's your boy, Eddie Hill, the Pennsylvanian toy collector himself, and it's time for another Eddie Hill review. It's review time. People. And we got some more Turtles action here on the channel for the first time. We got my first ever actual foot soldier here on the channel. This is my first foot soldier ever. I remember growing up with 2003 Ninja Turtles. Now that was my pastime in my favorite turtle series. But the Rise Paper Foot Soldier ain't half bad for my very first actual foot soldier. But before we look at the figure itself, we'll look at the package in. And it says Rise of the Ninja Turtles, ages 4 plus, warning, and all that. Spin Master, Nick Tunes, and finally we got the other figures in the line, like the uh, Raphael, Leonardo, which I don't have, or Raphael, Donatello, I don't have, but I have, not Donatello, but Mikey, I don't, don't have Mikey, but I have Donatello, so I had to correct myself. And here are the other figures in the line to collect. And there are so many of these. It's absolutely a pretty cool line. I don't like the other characters, but I probably will pick up this guy, maybe. Maybe him, because he was pretty gnarly. Not Pudgy Pig or the other one from the pizza place. I don't like him. Definitely Master Splinter and probably April. And the other turtle. But yeah, I like this line of figures. It's pretty cool. And now we're going to get on to the review of this figure. But before that, we're going to look at this Micro Turtles playset. I got this from the Goodwill outlet. And this is pretty cool because I, I never had a Micro Turtles thing. You open up the shell... And you get a little micro world. Ain't that cool? It's like a Dungeons and Dragons micro world. That is awesome. And you get little figures here too. I'll show those off. Just let me uh, pull them out. I had to put a couple in the cells. Come on. Come on, little dude. Out of there. They can be tricky to put in the dungeon cells. But this is pretty cool. Probably my favorite piece of new uh, new turtle merch I've ever picked up, because this is new to me. Okay, here we got the Dungeons & Dragons sort of turtle vibe. It's pretty cool. And such. And you open up the back, like so. And you can stand this on its own. And boom. You get a Dungeons and Dragons sort of turtle vibe, which is pretty retro and a throne? That is cool! But yeah, you have to hold it up trickily, otherwise it falls down, but it's pretty cool. Let's look at all the little figures that we got with this, huh? And put that off to the side. We got this little, um, whatever it is, I think it's a dungeon monster. I don't know this guy, but if you know him... Leave me a comment, but he's got a sword and a shield. That's awesome. And we got this weird... I think it's some uh, guy locked in a dungeon or something. I don't know this guy either. But if you know, leave me a comment. Next, we got this uh, weird, strong, green dude. And he is freaky looking. For a tiny dude, he is pretty freaky. Yeah, very freaky. I can barely make him out on the camera because he's so hard to get on camera because he's so small. And of course, next we have my boy. It's Donatello in a Dungeons and Dragons style. Oh man, this is so cool. So glad I have this little playset. This is cool. What would I recommend this little playset if you're a Turtles fan like I was when I was a kid? Yes. It is good. I grew up with 2003. This is probably be 
in the uh, series before that, but I like this. I really do. This is my new favorite turtle item here on my channel, next to the foot soldier. But now we are going to get on to the foot soldier itself. You get kicks back that far, no bend at the knee with these. You get uh, arms are on a hinge, which is nice. Full rotation, if which is good. I love rotation. He could be like, I'll see you next time, turtles. And you get a cool head that is on a ball joint, which is nice. I love that they put the effort into that. And the, green, the blue eyes are absolutely creepy. And he's got a little ninja... Ninja scythe-like weapon. He can be like, slash, slash, take this, turtles. And his arms are really well articulated. But now we're going to look at the little paper foot origami soldiers. And here's one. They're not very good looking, but what they turn into is absolutely pretty cool. There's one. And here's an even smaller one. So these are pretty cool little accessories. Just so I don't lose them, I'll probably put them in a Ziploc. But now, for comparison, here he is next to my other Rise of the Ninja Turtles. Here's Donatello. He could be like, take this, Donatello, slash, slash. You think you're going to beat me, you overgrown paper soldier? Hey ya And kick his butt. Because he's a turtle. He's awesome. Would I recommend these figures if you're into turtles? Yes, they are not half bad for about how much I paid for them. I paid about 14 bucks for this dude, and I would highly recommend this guy. He's a nice first foot soldier to pick up. And I'll probably, maybe I'll pick up another one if I ever find it. But otherwise, this is a really good figure. Especially from Rise. It ain't half bad. Sure, it's got some twisted limbs and stuff, but it's a paper foot soldier. It's freaky looking. And that's why I like it. If you like this video, make sure to like, make sure to comment, and don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this. And this is Eddie Hill. Moving on and rock on and rock out, YouTube land.